next episode of the Klingberg Wing Mark II Development. I'm Raul Klingberg, your host. Today is August the what? Do we know? <laughs> I think it's August the 5th or 6th, something like that. We're here at Pacifica at the beach uh, for some more test flying. Uh, last time I was out here, no video, had beautiful flights. I was unable to test the flaps. They were not connected at that point. I now have the uh, flaps uh, set up and ready to operate. The big thing that we want to test today on the flaps is that we can deploy them to any position and have no change in pitch trim. Uh, in other words, as we're flying along, all we want to see is the glider slow up and descend rapidly. We don't want to see the nose go down or up when the flaps are deployed. We'll find out in flight. Um, what you're looking at here today is the quarter scale version of the wing in what I hope is the last configuration form. Uh, the model is a little bit different than full size. Full size will have a field joint here where this portion of the wing uh, is a rigid center section. The cockpit components will fold up flat. If you look at the uh, cockpit mock-up elsewhere on the site, you'll see how that is set up. Uh, there won't be a field joint here in the full size glider, but there will be one out here at the winglet. So we're gonna have an 18 foot section of wing here, short center section, and then tip panels. Uh, the major change for this final configuration is there's no washout in this portion of the wing right here. Uh, and then from here to here, there's three degrees of washout and the full span elevon. And then out at the tip, no control surfaces, and there's five degrees of washout from where the winglet is located out here to the tip. So we still have a total of eight degrees of washout, but it's non-linear. And that non-linear washout gives superior uh, glide ratio. As you can go look at the aerodynamics video and see the whole analysis and discussion about that particular design change. Before we had linear washout all the way from the root to the tip, we had eight degrees of linear washout. Flies nice, but the performance uh, is a little bit better this way. Uh, also, I've changed the design so that the wing is flat along or straight along the leading edge. There's no dihedral here, no dihedral, no dihedral. And then all the dihedrals out here, five degrees worth of dihedral. The reason for that is that dihedral is really most effective out at the wingtips. So might as well put it all out here. And the other big factor is it's much easier to build a wing that's flat than has uh, a very slight slope to it. It's difficult to build accurately. And the five degree dihedral will be set here in the field joint the pin that will go in here to attach the wing tip uh, to the center section of the wing will actually be built such that the five degrees of dihedral is right in that fitting. So when this portion of the wing goes on, we drop the pin in, we got our five degrees of dihedral. This seems to fly really well. The side effect of it is, that was unexpected, when the wing is down on the ground like this, after you land in a normal situation, uh, the wing tip's off the ground, which is great because this portion of the wing is very light and somewhat fragile and to have it off the ground is a big benefit. Uh, so I can put the skid here on the bottom of the wing. Let me get this turned around here. I'll be able to, because this is a, a solid structure here that supports the winglet, I'll be able to uh, build a wingtip skid right into that portion of the structure. So rather than having to beef up the structure for the wingtip and make it heavier, I can keep the wingtips very light and put the wingtip skid here and we keep the wingtips off the ground this way. Uh, I would like to say that I was, uh, it was an ingenious move on my part, but no, it's just kind of accidental of changing the dihedral pattern. And I noticed, oh, this is much better in terms of ground handling, sending it down, picking it up. And it keeps the wingtips up out of the bushes. When you're taking off with a flying wing, your wing is behind you like this. And as you round over the hill, you have a tendency to hit the wingtips on the hill. By having the, the tips angled up, that will help clear uh, bushes and so forth in that type of situation. You'll notice that I have a center section pod here. This is aerodynamically representative of the actual pod that'll hold the pilot. The wheel is actually two scale, quarter scale. This pod area is only half the size of what the final configuration will be. In other words, it'll be twice as big this way and twice as wide. Uh, so this is not in scale to the aircraft, but it was appropriate for the model. So let's get ready and do some flying. Now. Coming out. I lied, I went left first. Oh, I'm not sure where it is. I can't find it. The flaps help a lot. The flaps are good. Let's 
Fogo, 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 Fogo.